Okay, guys, right now, right now, and when I mean right now, I mean right now, I just found Frozen 2 trailer, and I thought, oh, maybe we could, we'll just, we'll just look at this for a little bit, quick, just for a little short video, and, um, I'm very confused about it, <laughs> and I'm, I kind of have some theories about it, so I'll tell you that at the end. Let's watch. Sorry if this is too loud. She looks different. Hmm. Like I said, I'll tell you my theories at the end. This fall. Are you confused, amused, and afraid? I can see that. I gotta write down my notes quick, and I'll be back in two shakes. All right, so I got my thoughts down and everything. So first, let's start from the beginning. So what we got here in the beginning is Elsa and trying to conquer these waves. As you can see, let me turn this down quick. As you can see, she is obviously angry and wearing a totally different style. Um, obviously wearing swimwear and also putting her hair in a ponytail, which, which is interesting. Now, why do we think we put, she put in a ponytail and why do, why do we think she's trying to conquer these waves? Some people say, I have no idea. Well, we, or I, might think that she is training for something. Obviously, she's trying to get this conquered. And the music is obviously um, terrifying, <laughs> in a way. Hmm. And also, I'm currently sick, so... Sorry. Whoa. And you know how she falls? Okay. So this fall. We got that. Okay. Okay. This is the part where we need to stop. And there's a lot of things going on here. First of all, what are these? Well, I don't know. But I do have conspiracies about that they are the shape of like a typical normal snowflake as you know from the first movie oops sorry as you know from the first movie you see that um that there's a lot of snowflakes a lot of you know sharp edges and as you can also tell anna is wearing some sort of like pjs or like nightgown so this obviously means that she probably woke up from this and also from the time setting from this, as we can tell from the beginning, how the dark setting up here 
besides this fall, might be in the same time period. In the, all of these, when Elsa falls, or takes a step, or her fails, might be a sign that there that she is in trouble, or there's something coming, or there is um, there's a weakness and she's in trouble, and it's sensing her way. So, and now we see Kristoff, and I'm gonna wait until we get to the next scene. All right, besides this one, actually, this one relates to the first scene. So how Anna saw those crystals, yet again, the same time period in a way, she probably goes off to find Elsa, maybe, and goes to, um, I don't know, stop her from doing this? All right, and then I'm gonna wait until we get to another scene. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. So, um, so what we got from Oops, sorry. So what we got from here is that Kristoff with with an angry face and um, a lot of reindeer um, obviously are running away from something. Now, I don't know what it is, but it looks like Kristoff may be leading it. Now, as you can see from the background, it is in the fall time. Now, you see how this is tying together? Now, um since this is in the fall time and they may be running away from something all right i'm gonna go through the on a saving part maybe and you could tell that they're completely dead. okay now we're back so as you can see that this seems to be a fire now i'm starting to think that sven and kristoff may be running away from a fire and leading them leading all the reindeer to safety. Now, as you can see, Elsa is obviously busy and she cannot, you know, help them right now. And Olaf, now probably one of the most iconic characters now, is obviously in trouble. Now, what is the opposite of ice? Fire. Now, what color is coming up in the fall? Red. Red is the main color. Fire is red. Now pink, uh, I'm not really sure, but this, as you could see, is in a is in a uh, flower patch or some sort of patch of like roses or something that's all petally. Or it could be a gas. Now I'm not too sure. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, oh, back to this part again. Sorry. Okay, never mind. I can't get it there. Okay, so this person on the side left. Who is this? Well, as you can look closely, this is not Anna. That's not Anna. That it could potentially be the villain. Now, hear me out here. Okay, now this could be a good person or this could be a terrible person. Now, um, as you can see, her hair is red. What have we been talking about? Red leaves, red fire, in a way. Red hair. Elsa could be training for a threat. This threat could be fire, her. Now, the person that's about to come out of the ground, this is not, this is not Spin. And this is a weird position for him to come out. But this guy could be, I don't know, his potential sidekick. I don't know. But not really too much about him. Now, this next scene. Okay. As you can see, the game is looking at just a forest of red and orange and, you know, fall colors. As you can see, they are obviously trained obviously training for something now as you can see in the distance we have snowy mountains so this could be a sign of like a war coming and this is why everyone's like i don't know fierce and scary and all that now 
We have, yep. Fall, obviously, yet again. More signs. Frozen with the fall. Connecting. Now this part. Okay, I cannot stop that in time, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, okay, here. One more time, we can do this, we can do this. Okay, 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 we got this. All right, so, this is perfect. All right, as we can see, Anna is obviously with a sword. Now, as if you have seen the first movie, the first movie showcases that Anna already's got some pretty good fighting skills Considering that she punched Hans into the cold water on the boat. If you remember that. Also, um, there's obviously something coming and this is in the forest. So, we don't know what this is. But, this potentially could be the villain. I don't know. But that is my theory. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, click that like button, and see you next time. Bye bye. So sorry. One more thing before you go. I just realized, looking at my video and trying to edit it, I realized that fire and dry things don't mix. And that just creates more fire. Alright? Think about that. Think about that. Yet again, sorry for disturbing you. And see you next time. And I'll probably maybe continue on that gotcha life video. If you've seen it yet. Bye.